Chapter 3 Experimentation A. Presentation of Data Presentation of data in tabular form Every experiment involves certain measurements. Each measurement should be made with full attention and at most accuracy. However, it is equally important to record the data of these measurements in a systematic and presentable form. The scientific way of recording the data is in a tabular form in the sequence in which they are made. While recording the data in a tabular form, following steps are followed. Step 1. The measurements corresponding to one physical quantity from one instrument are recorded in one table. Separate tables are made to record the measurements of different quantities. Example If in an experiment of simple pendulum, we measure the radius of bob with the help of a vernier calipers and the time period of oscillations with a stopwatch, the data should be recorded in two separate tables one for the radius of bob and the other for the time period of oscillations. Step 2. On the top of the table, the name of the instrument used for measurement should be mentioned and then its least count and zero error, if any. Step 3. Each observation should be recorded up to the limit of accuracy of the measuring instrument without adding extra zeros on the right side of decimal in any observation. But if there is no digit before the decimal, a zero is put before the decimal to make the decimal prominent. Step 4. After recording each individual observation, mean value is calculated at the bottom of column if the same quantity is being measured repeatedly. Types of tabular form There are following two types of tabular form. 1. Headed columns and numbered rows and 2. Headed rows and numbered columns. The choice of either of the tabular form depends on convenience. 1. Headed columns and numbered rows table. This form of table is used when data to be recorded are more. In this table, one column is made for each data in sequence in which it is measured. At the top of each column, the quantity belonging to that data is written with its unit of measurement. The number of rows in the table gives the number of times a particular measurement is made. Example. While measuring the diameter of bob with the vernier calipers, we record four data. A. The main scale reading. B. The number of vernier division, P, coinciding with the main scale division. C. Vernier scale reading, for which vernier division, P, is multiplied by the least count. And D. The total reading for which vernier scale reading is added to the main scale reading. For each data, observations are taken at different positions on the wire three times and in each position, once in one direction and then in perpendicular direction. Thus, the table will have four columns and six rows. The format of the table will be as given ahead. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऑब्जर्वेशन फॉर डायमीटर ऑफ बॉब यूजिंग अ वर्नियर कैलिपर्स लीज काउंट ऑफ वर्नियर कैलिपर्स इज इक्वल टू वैल्यू ऑफ वन मेन स्केल डिवीजन अपॉन टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन ऑन वर्नियर स्केल व्हिच इक्वल्स 1 अपॉन 10 मिलीमीटर्स व्हिच इक्वल्स 0.01 cm. Zero error of vernier calipers is equal to 0 cm with sign. Now let's have a look at the table. Number of observation 1 in one direction. Main scale reading A in cm 1.8. Now let's see the vernier scale reading. Number of vernier division P. Coinciding with the main scale division, 3. 
Vernier reading is equal to P into least count which equals B centimeters. So B is equal to 3 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.03. Observe diameter of the bob is equal to total reading which equals A plus B in centimeters. So total reading is equal to 1.83. Now number of observation 1 in perpendicular direction. A is equal to 1.8. P is equal to 3. B is equal to 3 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.03. Total reading is equal to 1.83. Number of observation 2 in one direction. A is equal to 1.8 centimeters. P is equal to 4. B is equal to 4 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.04. Total reading is 1.84. Now the second observation in perpendicular direction. Main scale reading A is equal to 1.8. P is equal to 3. B is equal to 3 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.03. Total reading is equal to 1.83. Now number of observation number 3 in one direction. Main scale reading A is equal to 1.8. P is equal to 3. B is 3 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.03. Total reading is 1.83. Now third observation in perpendicular direction. A is equal to 1.8. P is 4. B is equal to 3 into 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.04. Total reading is equal to 1.84. Mean observed diameter of bob is equal to 1.833 centimeters. Correct diameter of bob is equal to mean observed diameter minus zero error with proper sign which equals 1.83 centimeters. Observations for time period with a stopwatch. Similarly, we can make a format of the table for the measurement of time period of simple pendulum for its six different lengths. Here we have four columns A for length L of pendulum, B for time small t of 20 oscillations, C for time period capital T, and D for ratio of length to the square of time period that is L upon capital T square with 6 rows. The table is given below. Least count of stopwatch is equal to dash seconds. Now let's have a look at the table. In first observation, length L in centimeter is 80. Time for 20 oscillations small t in second is 36. Time period capital T is equal to T upon 20 in second. So in the first observation capital T is 1.8 therefore T square is equal to 3.24. Now L upon capital T square in centimeter per second square is 80 upon 3.24 which equals 24.69. In second observation, L is 90, small t is 38, capital T is 1.9, therefore t square is equal to 3.61. L upon capital T square is 90 upon 3.61, which equals 24.93. Third observation, L is 100, Small t is 40, capital T is 2, therefore t square is equal to 4. L upon capital T square is 100 upon 4, which equals 25. Observation number 4, L is equal to 110, small t is 42, capital T is 2.1, 
Therefore, capital T square is equal to 4.41. L upon capital T square is equal to 110 upon 4.41, which equals 24.94. Fifth observation, L is equal to 120. Small t is equal to 44. Capital T is equal to 2.2. Therefore, t square is equal to 4.84. L upon capital T square is equal to 120 upon 4.84, which equals 24.79. Now, in the sixth observation, L is equal to 130. Small t is 46. Capital T is 2.28. Therefore, capital T square is equal to 5.20. L upon capital T square is 130 upon 5.20 which equals 25. Mean value of L upon capital T square is equal to 24.89 centimeter per second square. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें. 2. Headed rows and numbered columns table. This form of table is used when the number of quantities measured are less. In this table, the quantity being measured is written with its unit in each row and the number of columns in the table gives the number of times a particular measurement is made. Example The format of table for the measurement of volume of an irregular body by the displacement of water is shown below. Here we have three rows. A for the initial level of water, V1. B. For the final level of water, V2, on dipping the solid. And C. For the volume of solid, V is equal to V2 minus V1. Observations If experiment is repeated four times, the table has four columns. For volume of solid by displacement of water, Least count of measuring cylinder is equal to dash milliliters. Number of observation 1. Initial level of water V1 in milliliters is 30 milliliters. Final level of water on dipping the solid V2 in milliliters is 45. Volume of the solid V is equal to V2 minus V1 in milliliter or centimeter cube is 15 milliliters. Observation number 2. V1 is 30. V2 is 44.9 milliliters. V is equal to 14.9 milliliters. Observation 3. V1 is 29.9 milliliters. V2 is 45.1 milliliters. V is equal to 15.2 milliliters. Observation number 4. V1 is 29.9 milliliters. V2 is 45 milliliters. V is equal to 15.1 milliliters. Mean volume of solid V is equal to 15.05 centimeter cube. Advantage of presentation of data in a tabular form. The presentation of data in a tabular form helps in quick grasping and analyzing the observations. For example, in the experiment to study the variation in time period with the length of a simple pendulum, one column shows the length and the other column shows the corresponding time period of simple pendulum. A look at the table shows that the time period of a simple pendulum increases with increase in its length. That is, the trend of variation of time period with length is immediately known. Presentation of data in graphical form In an experimental study, the result of measurements is best represented by a graph because a graph gives a visual presentation of variation of one quantity with respect to the other quantity. Further, by extrapolation, we can determine the value of one quantity corresponding to the value of the other quantity 
even when measurements are not made for this range. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें